Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Eras mod. Last time around we had a valiant defeat trying to break the siege of Dresden. However, as of right now we have received reinforcements. So there are three armies at full strength ready to attack. But before we go ahead and do that, uh, we're going to take a look at the situation throughout Europe. And uh, we'll start with the sea. So the... Um, What's it called? Kuraland is on the way. And they're gonna drop off an army. Luckily for me though, I have been building a naval force here. Ready to take them on. Currently we've got four of these carronade uh, ship of the line. Ready to attack. Right now wouldn't be that great though because the enemy has the advantage of numbers. But in just one turn I'll get an additional six carronade ships which will bring my total up to 10 so I will have 10 ships and then I have the advantage not only in firepower but in number of ships and we should be able to sink both these fleets and then in that way open up to attack the Danish mainland or well, the Danish capital island I should say um, which should do quite well uh, we've got two armies here. Currently, though, I am more focused on Berlin. So this is a little bit of a sideshow. Messina will move up and take control of the bridge right here. Currently, we don't have the numbers to strike at Berlin itself, as there's quite a lot with Danish uh, troops. And there's a fort guarding uh, Berlin as well. However, more troops are on the way, as Audrino. Is about to come up in aid, Messina. Hopefully we'll be able to strike there. I'm also hoping, hoping that if I push all three into here, that the Prussians might be um, uh, persuaded to actually leave the siege and pull off. Um, one problem with that would be as they move into their own territory, they would be able to replenish and... Essentially, the battle would be for naught because uh, we didn't destroy the army and it will, you know, be able to replenish here. And there's so many more Prussian armies on the way that we wouldn't want to continue because I want to really go after Berlin and take that out uh, before moving forward. Right now, it's sort of, in a sense, behind the line as it goes through, as we are allied with Mecklenburg and their border goes somewhere around here and then we got Berlin kind of sticking out here so that needs to go before we push further um, but I think today's fighting will be here so we'll be focusing on that however um, we'll just show the British have not been able to build up their navy as of yet so we keep whatever they have currently bottled up or so I thought they actually do have one ship ready to uh, send a reinforcement to the one army that still remains down here. Now, Grouchy is just about to get fully replenished as well, and then he will go at full force after this one and destroy him. And finally, I would say we would be pushing the British out of Spain. Um, the Polish, of course, will be moving to um, to liberate the Irish. Um, it was, per the vote, said that we were going to go to Crimea. However, the ro the sea way to Crimea is not safe. I have launched a spy and we do have a frigate here checking out the area. But it's not safe. There's a Russian navy going about. I didn't think that they would put any focus on that. But the thing is they've been out of the fighting for so long so they could definitely have built up something here. And now when they're at war with the Ottomans as well. And actually beat their fleet quite a bit. Um, we're not sure what's going on here. So it would be dangerous to launch the entire army. Especially since I don't have a fleet to back it up. Um, depending on whatever the Russians have in the area. So the um, Polish are going to Ireland instead. And before then we go ahead and take control or throw away whatever happens here against the Prussians uh, I will go ahead and take my fleet here and we will sink this one ship and make sure 
that the British situation in Spain becomes decidedly desperate. And with that, let's sink these bastards. Wonderful victory! Let's hope that this sets the um, the trend for today, and this will continue to lead to victories. I'll go ahead and have this one go ahead and join the fleet up there, and then have these three go ahead and join up there as well, while you go to port and repair. Um, we did take some damage, it is after all a carronade ship, um, but it, we all, he took also a lot of damage, so he needs to be repaired. And then this fleet needs to be moved up into the area as well, nothing hiding over there. Then let's go ahead and deal with the land side. So I'm thinking we're going to have uh, Sul lead the attack through up here and then we bring in Davu and Ney coming up there so now we have plenty of armies ready to strike perhaps I should have attacked the stronger force but what I can see here we're only Seemingly hitting these two right here with a huge advantage to my side as I deploy close to what 12,000 men compared to the enemies barely 4,000. We have a huge advantage 3 to 1. This should bring a clear victory. 
I decided to uh, auto resolve it instead because the game kept crashing. No units were lost. Highest kills goes as follows. Da 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 da. -da. No one entirely sure why it crashed. I think it's probably due to somehow probably something to do with the the way the reinforcements came in. Um, this opens up a lot of opportunity. What we're gonna do though is we're going to wait until next turn and then we're going to strike Berlin. Um, unless the Germans come up with something right here. There also might be a more naval battle. So let's go ahead and end turn. Nothing goes as planned. Instead, the Prussians decide to attack me. Not where I'm strong. Well, that's debatable. I think I'm strong everywhere. They decide to attack the newly recruited army on the Messina. At the bridge. Bridge battles are usually vict um, easy victories. However, they have brought a howitzer. Could cause problems. My 12 pounders, though, should clear the way and clear away the rest of the Prussian army. We've got uh, 3,700 men against roughly 5,000 Prussians trying to cross this river. And so, onwards to battle then. As of right now, the Prussians are trying to cross. They've sent two cavalries over already, both of which have been destroyed. The Carbiniers are holding the river well. As of yet, only their three-pounder battery has returned fire, while our 12-pounders have yet to secure a hit on the enemy battery. The battle is just starting. And... Um, we are now meeting with uh, Prussian Fusiliers trying to cross the river. And we also have uh, Grenadiers ready to cross, followed by the rest of their army. Now, I wish to train my cannons on these, but I still have that howitzer advancing. And I would rather see if I could break that one. Finally, we got a hit. And they are abandoning the rest of the guns. Oh, we've managed to bounce through the, uh, the three-pound gun as well. Just what I wished for. All of a sudden, I get exactly what I want. I want the batteries to focus in on the enemy crossing. I've set up my light cavalry back here to be able to cross. We've got a Lancer squadron right here. Hopefully that is not going to be a huge problem. The heavy cavalry is set up right behind here. Grenadiers to the right covering this field. And then we've got the Fusiliers uh, right here behind all the Carbiniers. The Carbiniers have suffered some casualties. But not nearly um, that devastating amount uh, of casualties. However, as we can see, the Prussians are steadily coming across the river. I will uh, get the Fusiliers to take a position here. The Carbiniers will be ordered to uh, retreat to the sides as the enemy advances. And uh, we'll be able to just completely mow them down with fire with the firepower of all these troops. 12 pounders now focusing on the troops crossing as the batteries are uh, 
if they ever were a threat. I don't know, they moved the howitzer way too close. I think they probably could have fired upon us way earlier. Prussians are about to get cr come across here. And I think it's high time we actually ordered the carabiniers now to retreat. I will order the uh, grenadiers up as well to take up a position right there. We've got the cannon shots bouncing through the Prussian troops. It's a Landwehr unit that leads the charge. Um, poor, you, poor unit choice there. There's a lot of reinforcement cavalry. We might actually have the light cavalry wait to cross. It could be a little bit too dangerous. Right, the Fusiliers are about to uh, unleash their volley on the enemy. I might actually order everyone now to hold fire. Um, firing into the water isn't going to do as much, so we should set to bounce somewhere like that. I think because of the crash, the sound is reset. And so I'm not having it on. Let's go ahead and see. Yep, sound channels need to. It always resets. So the sound is uh, not really there. We have a single Fusilier Battalion. If I would want to unleash the fire when they bring up more units, but here we go. There we go. The main uh, regiments opened up. That plus cannon shot bouncing through. Well, you know what? The enemy has no chance of getting across. We've got it pretty much locked down. So I will actually declare this a victory already. Even though we're only about 10 minutes into the battle. I'm hoping to achieve something in this battle. Not just break down easy targets.
surprise we won the bridge battle. We lost about 800, well, exactly 854 men. I shouldn't say almost. And the enemy lost 4,000 heavy losses. Cavalry in top, followed by the Carabiniers. No surprise. And we'll go one of the 12 pounders up here as well. Actually, both of them quite close to the top. Good all around. No member units in this one, so there's nothing to focus in on. I did notice that right now, when I look in closer, this one is double what the other cavalrys have. So we've got one losing 13 men, killing or capturing 800 enemies. Damn. I get attacked by a Russian ship, and seemingly it has no guns, but 92 crew. I, I mean, there's no way I'm gonna, if he actually has guns, there's no way I'm gonna be winning, but it, apparently, according to this, he has zero guns. That can't be right, can it? I'm intrigued. I'm gonna try to fight it. Well, would you look at that? The enemy ship did in fact have guns, 25 of them. However, because the, I guess the the way that the um, AI sort of stacks the crew, it has stacked all the cannon crew on one side of the ship. So it did have 25 guns on one side. So as long as I kept on the other side, I was able to work them down with my canister. And I was able to work them down to 20 men from 90. Um, in the meantime, my 79 was actually reduced to 64 men. And that was entirely, entirely due to the Russian snipers in the rigging and on the side of the ship crazy amount of kills just due to that so right uh, yeah now you might see here that I deployed 76 I managed to lose there would when I started boarding I was there was 62 men left now why did I lose that that doesn't seem right that I lost about 12 13 men due to the snipers here it says 53 well they decided to disengage the ships before all my crew was back on my ship. So I had about, you know, 40-ish men jump straight into the sea. Great. I did at one point, because I got tired. We, I was fighting this battle for a half an hour, because I didn't really get the canister where I wanted. I had to align the ship, kind of in front, and then I timed it with the wind. Sorry about that. Um, managed to hit the mic. I had to time it with the waves. 
And then I like, there's the opportunity, release the canister, and I was able to release it at the the sort of the back of the ship where the captain is, and I was able to clean that off. So I cleaned off a lot of these snipers, but also the captain. I think that was the key to forcing them to surrender. I had to bore them eventually. But, yeah. Um, I did, in fact, be victorious in this battle against the Russians. Wonderful. Right, since I have, like, three battles that I need to go through and do a post-battle of, I think we'll just end it right here. Unfortunately. Um, the spy is gonna head over there. But I wanted to show a little, a few things to kind of bring you up to speed for the next one. Ooh, a lot of the Saxon troops have been recruited. Wonderful. Uh, but I want to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on. So, um, the pra after this battle, the Prussians actually kind of abandon almost Berlin. We have, you know, single stack units. I'll, I think I can take Berlin without even having to um, more or less have a fight. Or I, I'm sure I'll have a fight, but nothing more than I can out-resolve as we move through. Um, probably get an extra army to come in here. Uh, this army right here ran through and set up here. I don't know where they're going, but I can have one of the full stacks double back, destroy them. Quite easy. The rest of them, heading to Berlin, should be able to fall. And the Dutch Navy came out, kicked the Danes, they didn't win the fight, but they took them down to two ships, making it a lot easier for my fleet here to go ahead and kill them. So not only will we be able to take out these, but we will be able to take this one out as well and opening up towards attacking the Danish uh, main island. Uh, nothing really going on with the British, as far as I can see, um, or at least on at the sea. However, on land, it looks like the British have decided they're going to go for Pamplona. And they're going to try and take that away from us. So, uh, Gushi will be hot on his heels. Um, wonderful victory over the ship. However, with such a wonderful victory, it would be a shame to throw it away now when we only have nine crew enough to fire nine guns so we're gonna run back um, the Ottomans somehow get crushed by the Russian fleet and uh, I send in a little frigate to uh, destroy whatever the Russians have left um, very low garrison I could actually have been sending the Polish army here if I'd landed it here I could be marching up through here the problem, though, is, which we have seen, is that we haven't fought the Russians at all, and we haven't seen a Russian army at all. And I'm sure the Russians still have a pretty powerful army just sitting there with nothing to do. So it's like poking an angry bear um, and have, have it wake up, which is not great. But right now, I feel pretty confident in this area. Plus, we've got Odwino, of course, coming up real close. I don't know, the Danes are moving through. I have managed to get the Hanoverians in on the war, and that's also why the Danes have been able to move through here. Because now they are worthy with the Hanoverians. But I'm hoping the Hanoverians actually deal a defeat to the Danish, or at least cut them down quite a bit. This army is already cut down quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, Masena moving forward, just crushing all of this quickly. Berlin falls. These forces will have to cut cut this one down so it doesn't cut it off. And then potentially then pushing forward here. Uh, next target would be Seton to make sure that we got that. And then the Prussians are without any uh, cities close by to support them. And they're left with the eastern part of their, uh, or the eastern part, and I guess the southern part as well. Plus there's still a war with the Austrians. It's high fighting there. Um, or has been a bit of fighting at least. So we've got 
an idea of what's going on and hopefully by the next episode I would have like a good TV chef I would have gone ahead and prepared so maybe ooh that's we get a long jump with this one that means that I should be about one turn away from I should be yeah one turn away from the port and then one turn away from actually a landing so two turns and then we hit Irish soil I'm ready to set them free things are going really well for us and um, well let's end on a really good note so I will be saying like I always say hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye